Oh, hello. It's summertime and it is getting hot. I'm just being a dork. I'm wearing my shades inside. So I thought I would take this opportunity to show you what I do for my everyday summer makeup routine. I like to keep it really simple and really fresh and easy. I got a facial last week at Arcana, which I'm now falling in love with their products. This is something that goes on over the moisturizer. It's called Desert Mist. I put this on over that, all over. It's an antioxidant serum. Protects you against the elements. Ah, yes. All right, now we're on to doing our evening out of our skin tone. Oopsie, dropping everything. Maybe I should just lay everything down so I don't have to worry about it. Okay. I featured this product in my, my July favorites. This is the Dr. Hauschka Translucent Bronze. I'm going to show you it, it at work right now of how I use this. And then the Tarte Amazonian Clay uh, BB Cream or BB Tinted Moisturizer, whatever. I think they're all the same BB Creams and Tinted Moisturizers anyway. So I take a little bit of the BB Cream and I add in a touch. If you're darker skinned, you can add way more than this. I add in, it's almost like halvesies, and I mix that up. You can see it. It almost looks kind of like, I don't know. I guess maybe it's like a little bit muddy looking at first, but whatever. I've been using this forever. It blends in, it's awesome. You can mix that translucent bronze with everything. Make sure to bring it, unless I'm really good, make sure to bring it down on your neck so that your neck is a different color than your face. Oh, you didn't know I'm a freak? Oh, well, if you look up there, it says unprofessional weirdo, so duh. All right, now, don't I just look like a bronze goddess? I mean, could you get any more tan? Yes, but that would not look good on me. Okay, so that's that. Now, in summertime, I like to use less concealer than I would in the autumn or winter months. I just feel like summer skin looks really, really wrong if it's super matte, powdery looking, or, or has a lot of coverage. It just doesn't, it doesn't look right to me. Um, and it looks like you're trying really hard and I just feel like you can't, you're not letting your skin breathe. So now we're going to go in with the Laura Mercier Secret Camouflage. And I go in a little bit around my nose because that's, it's a little red. Nothing too crazy. Mostly for me, it's my, it's my blemishes. I mean, when are they going to stop? Good tip too. I take a little concealer and I put it on my eyelids. I know they sell eye base and all that stuff. You know what? For my kit, great. For everybody else, I use I use an eye base. I, I bring the whole shebang. For myself, I don't believe in spending a ton of money for products that all do the same thing. I mean, let's get real, people. Unless you're rich. I'm not rich. Next, summer, you're going to get the oilies. Or at least you might get the dewiness, which is fine. But you need to set... You need to set that concealer in place or that BB cream. I honestly, I recommend not using a foundation in the summer. Just, you don't need it. I'm telling you, you don't need it. If you've got a bad spot somewhere, just put some concealer on it. Nobody really cares. Nobody's looking at you as hard as you look at yourself. So then I do a little quick that's the translucent powder from Laura Mercier. There are a few companies that make it. A nice translucent powder. Translucent powder has no color. Next up, cream blusher. Took a long time to convince me about cream blush. You know why? Because I'm always getting blemishes here and with cream blush I just feel like it draws attention to them, but I'm kind of over that. I just, I want to look dewy and fresh and pretty. And I use cream blush on all my clients, and it, it always looks so fresh. Look 
how pretty that is. Look at that color. This is the uh, Stila convertible color in Gladiola. So I just take that, I warm it up on my hand, and I smile, and I go, hello, beautiful. Look at that glow. Here it is. This is a perfect thing if you are going to, I don't know, walk around the beach or you don't want to be completely barefaced. All right, so yeah, that that blemish starts to come up again. You know what? We're gonna we're gonna do our best to kind of just get over it and just leave it because you know what? It's there and it's there to stay. Now this is a, a new product that I've been liking. This is the Anastasia Brow Gel. Has a little color to it. Honestly, I didn't go look at all the other colors. I only cared about my own color because that's what I was in the market for. And it's this bronze, bronzy blonde color. So it's got, I say bronze because it does have like a, I should say champagne. Uh, I can't stand when my eyebrows are filled in. I don't like how it looks on me. I look like Madonna circa truth or dare. It's not my look. You know what I forgot? Duh, this is called convertible color because you can wear it on your cheeks or your lips or your eyes. I forgot. This is why I like this. Did I just put it on my lips? Her little color. And it just gives that little summertime sorbet. Doesn't that like peach sorbet? Hmm. I'm starting to really like this dewy look that I'm embracing. All right, and on to the game changer. I'm gonna show you the technique I use for applying my mascara. And that's it, I'm gonna show you and you're gonna go, oh, that's it? And I'm gonna say, yeah, that's it. And you're gonna go, oh, okay. I use um, the Kevin O'Quan eyelash curler and I curl my eyelashes. I go in, got it? Now, curling your eyelashes, and I lift up a little bit. I know, crazy. If you don't curl, I've been doing this so long, if you don't curl your eyelashes, you're not gonna get the effect. You're just not going to. There's no two ways about it. You can even go in again and do it. I'm not one of those people that a lot of makeup artists say, oh, pump, 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 all the way to the end. That is not my scene, that is just, too much and it kind of makes them curl back inward. Now I do one, one lash at a time, just the way you put on your pants. One leg at a time, I'm gonna change it to one lash at a time, people. You gotta look at yourself in a very snotty, snotty fashion, like, oh, excuse you. And then I don't even know what this looks like to, to the outside world because my eyes are rolled back in my head and I can't see. I roll, I don't know if you can see that I'm doing that. I roll the brush while it's at the base and then I barely even get the ends. I, I'm trying to look in the mirror and at you at the same time so you can really see. I'll do it like that. And then I go in on the side. So this way, rolling my eye, they probably look like Emily Rose or you know, The Exorcist, whatever. As long as you look good at, at the end, <laughs> that's all that matters. And that is um, Stila Stay All Day Volumizing. I'm gonna do the other eye while I'm talking about that. That's the Stila Volumizing Stay All Day Mascara in black. I'm not a big, I'm not crazy about brown mascara. I think it has its place. But for me, I want the biggest bang for my buck. And I feel like putting on black mascara. Here we go, Emily Rose. <laughs> when you when you wiggle it and roll it, wiggle and roll, wiggle and roll. That is what's depositing all the mascara at the base. Now, you you can get this effect by just putting eyeliner in there, but honestly, why? I, then if when I add eyeliner, it's even more intense. Okay, so that's that's that look. I think that's it. I think that's my my summertime 
fresh face makeup. There you have it. Happy summer. Oh, make sure you subscribe and leave comments about other tutorials and whatever else you want to see. Bye. Stay cool. Oh, maybe I put my sunglasses on. Oh, yeah. Mascara. Okay, now I'm just embarrassing myself.